Hi everybody and welcome back to my Pokemon Ultra Moon Fun Run and hopefully we can finish up the Vast Pony Canyon in today's episode. So let's see if we can do it. And by less things we might actually be able to. Alright. Hmm. Ooh, and there's a Kung Fu Master. Well, Karate Master. Just because you say you'll win doesn't mean you're going to, sir. Flat Belt Curtis. Oh, he's sending out Polyrath. And I conveniently put Petunia in the front of my party. So. Let's give him a pedal dance. Apparently, it stunned him enough to make him faint. Alright, and... Ooh, there's an item over here. It's a full heal. Hey, that's nice, so... Let's cross this path, and... Also, over here, we should have... Our trainer gauntlet. Yeah, there's three trainers there, so before I do anything else, I'm gonna I'm gonna push this block here. So that way if I ever decide to do some grinding around here, I'll have an easier time. Also, I wanna explore over here. Looks like a team skull member. I think so. Maybe he doesn't know that what happened to Guzma. But maybe we should knock some knowledge into his skull. But he's going to send Ponyard out. And I should switch out. Well, I'm gonna send Man Panda Zone out. Because Virginia you can't touch it, and Bronze pretty low on HP. So. Oops! I misclicked. I went with Magnet Rise. This misclick won't pay off, but it won't hurt, at least. Because now I got a minus four special attack. And he's got a downed ponyard. Hey, you do know that Kuzma's trapped in another dimension and... Bugniums, Bugniums, he isn't that important right now. Yeah, let's switch to Sharpedo's jet. Ooh, I should probably use some repels. Oh, it's gold back. Oh wait, Petunia's got a smoke ball. Ooh, thank goodness I did put her in the lead. Oh, and there's an item here. A star piece. Okay, not bad. And we got another Kung Fu Master. Well, Karate Master. Oh, he's challenging us. There, and because we stared, we must accept Black Belt Terry's challenge. It's crab dom abominable. <clears throat> Never seen that right. The lesser version of crab brawler, in my opinion. It's ice and fighting, so nah, that's not a good idea. No one knows he's not either. So Sylveon, you're going to have to take care of this.
Ice hammer. Wow! That did some real damage. But the moon blast should take care of it. And Sylveon's now level 57. And Black Belt Terry is gone. And I'm thinking I should do a little bit of healing. Yeah. Alright, it's back to Sharpedo time. I am over here. And there is a rare candy. Yay! Oh, and we got a surfer dude here. And it's Joshua. Going to out his gold duck. Let's give it a pedal dance. Bye bye, Golduck. Kappa. And Petunia is getting a level. And the surfer Joshua has has been defeated. And let's get this right here, and it's. Flamethrower! Nice! That opens things up a bit more, so I'm gonna try and get out of here. Hopefully as fast as I can. And of course I get into random battles as as I was about to leave. Oh, it's Doug Trio. With a head full of hair. Three heads full of hair. But let's get out of here. Ah. Great, another random battle. I think it's because when I exited out, I was right in the grass. And it's Lycan Rock. Nah, I don't want one. Yeah, let's just get out of here now. And, well, here's the trainer gauntlet. I'm gonna heal up, and I'll be right back. Yeah, also while I was away, I went to Poke Pelago, and I got me a Slowpoke. Although their tails, which fall off naturally, can easily be found lying around, they're a precious ingredient for cooking. That explains why Team Rocket was after those tails a long time ago. I'm going to name it... Dents. And let's send it to a box. And... Well, I'll meet you right back where I was before. Alright, and also while I was away, I decided to make out Evola. So... Now I got a place where I can send Pokemon to level up if I want to while while I'm away. So and I believe they can, they have stat boosting drinks here too. I think it's more along the lines of EV training than anything else. So I'll well I'll stop playing around here. So let's go back. Yeah, let let's leave and go back. Now my Pokemon should be somewhat healed up. So we got a gauntlet to go through. Three trainers. And here's trainer the first. 
Ace Trainer Hiroshi. He's got two Pokemon pals. Gonna start with Graveler. Alright, it's the Alolan variant. So, let's start with a little Leech Seed. I was going to use this charge. I was hoping for a paralysis, but it didn't happen. Yeah, I can't remember if Alolan Gravelers get sturdy or not. So I'm kind of playing it safe there. Alright, and next is Lapras, so I'm going to send my mammy out. There we go, my mammy. Give it a good old discharge. Ooh, that came close. I'm going to use Ice Beam. No, oh, I misclicked and went with Hidden Power. It's only going to be one fourth as effective, as you can see. Ooh, it's not Brian, too. What I meant to click was Flash Cannon. I mean, it's neutral because it's water and ice tight, so its weakness was pretty much neutralized. But, I beat the first trainer in this gauntlet. And now we're on to trainer number two. Oh, so you saw our first battle. Okay. And it's Veteran Hever. Oh, she's starting with Town Queen. I don't, I did not have a good choice to begin. So, I think I'll go Wailing here. Alright, Waterfield comes in in the clutch. I'm going to use Dive. Yeah, I think Water Spout might have been enough, but I don't want to chance it. Oh, it wasn't enough. So it's just going to use Aerial Ace again. I mean, Town Plane's pretty quick. But I can dive underwater. And avoid that second. Well, avoid that aerial ace. And Bronze now level 57. Oh, she has a whale or two. But I don't have. Well, my whale or is not as strong. But does her whale or bounce? Well, I'm going to paddle dance. And hopefully not give it a chance. Oh, I know noise now level 57. Hmm, Glaceon. I think my man is good enough for this one. Yeah, Glaceon looks pretty, but Flash Cannon's going to take care of that. Oh, it survived! But, it's special defense fell. Oh, Frost Breath. That's a crit. It's a guaranteed crit when it connects. I'm just going to use Discharge to finish, it, to finish off Glaceon. Oh, sorry there, but recording froze and 
Well, my man did zone gained a level. Alright. I'm sorry you couldn't see how much experience, but it was just enough. And we got one more trainer here. Alright. And we're going up against veteran Eric. He has four Pokemon, so... Let's start with Knockdown. Our recording equipment is starting to act up again. So I'm going to try and finish these guys off quickly. Oh, you got Reflect. Which is good since he's setting himself up for the rest of the team. That's what his knockdown was doing. His knockdown was faster than my mannism. But now it's paralyzed, so... Not that I won't be feeling the effects of that tailwind. Oh, he's sending out Flygon! He came prepared! But it's a good thing I was going to hit him power. Oh, he's got Gengar next. You know what? I'm gonna go with Brawn. I mean, obviously this trainer's fought, fought ahead of what he wants his team to do. Let's go with Darkest Lariat. Alright, he's going to use Shadow Ball. Oh, it's Cursed Body. Alright, now he's gonna send out his Slow King. I'm gonna send out my Petunia. Start off with the leech seed. Oh, it's got psychic. Alright, that's not good, but I think the healing's gonna help me. Yeah. Ooh, no more tailwind and no more reflect. Here comes the second cycle. Sadly, my Petunia falls. Hmm. Who should I send now? You know what? I'm gonna send Brawn out just because I. Even though Sloking is water type, I think a Leech Life might help. It should finish it off. And down goes the slow thing. And we have not tell last. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna use flare blitz. Yeah, that paralysis really slowed down not town enough for this to work. He's not going to feel much in the recoil. And veteran Eric goes down. Yeah, and now I need to do some healing. Particularly for Petunia. So, I think for this next area, I'm going to put Sylveon in the lead. Alright, and before that, I'm going to save first, so I'll be right back. 
Alright, I'm back. Sylveon's in the lead now, so I had I am kinda of anticipating what's ahead. Oh hey Lily! Don't worry about it. Yeah, we're close. Ooh, you're gonna give us free healing? Sweet. So I just wasted a revive. Well, the trainers are only limited by their imagination, so hey. Don't worry. We'll see what's inside. Hmm? Yeah, a sacred ground of trials. So basically, the way through to the to the altar is our. Yeah, we're going to take part of this challenge. Yeah, so basically, you got quite a ways to go. Hmm. I think it. Ooh, wait. What was that? It's. Jingmo! I think that's how it's pronounced. And you know what? Here's Sylveon. Sadly, we cannot. We are not allowed to catch it right now, but. We are allowed to moonblast it, which is why I put Sylveon in the lead. I know that's a dragon type, I just don't know when it becomes fighting type. I think maybe around the second evolution. I don't know if it's that way from the beginning. Ooh. And we got an item here. Ooh, Dragon Claw! Actually, that's pretty nice. I would just. I'm getting rearranged there, so... Huh? Is there another one? <gasps> there is! And it's... Hecamo! Oh! I think that's how it's pronounced. If I got it wrong, forgive me. But, let's go with the Moon Blast. And down goes Hecamo. And Sylveon gained a level. Alright. Sylveon's just getting stronger and stronger. And so it's between yeah, she's now level 54. And Will is now level 49. So, huh. And we face two dragons. It has one more evolution. But... Hey. Hmm, let's get that Z crystal. Uh, oh no! Who's that? So I was roaring out sound. That this must be our totem. It's a totem como o. -o. Or como o. Well, let's go, Sylveon. You can take this. Mm. Right, let's see. Ooh, uh... Got the equivalent of an ancient power boost. Plus one to everything. Oh, it's got poison jab. This thing was prepared. But, Sylveon is strong. Oh, it even had a... Berry that weakens... Yeah, Barry that weakens the the fairy type of things. Oh, and it's got a scissor on its side too. I don't know. It's not a good idea. I might need to. I mean, another poison jazz is going to take out Sylveon, but I don't know what I can switch into that's going to be able to take. Oh, and this scissor has bullet punch. Well, never mind. I want to take out that Como first. So, I think what I'll do is send out my Noivern. Uh, 
And hopefully Draco Meteor will take out the coma. Uh oh And it did. Oh, and it's a nice little stat gain there, too. Oh, and Bronze gained a level, too, so... Oh, and Scissor can learn Light Screen. So, it was preparing to protect it. Well, protect Como. Oh, so it's going to use Bullet Punch and not going to do much. So, let's finish it off with a Flare Blitz. And down goes Scissor. All right. And look how proud Braun is of his accomplishments. So now we're going to get ourselves a new Z crystal. We need that Dragonium Z. Because we just finished another trial. I believe this is the first trial of this island. Well, uh, Pony Island. Alright, well, that's going to do it for this episode. I I should try to heal up, and I, if I remember regular Sun and Moon, I got an idea of what's coming next. So, next episode, I think we're going to deal with a legendary. I think, but I can't say for sure. So, until next time, I'm...